Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here bringing you guys another video and today we got a juicy one man Today we got one of those classic throwback videos that I used to do so today we are talking about Nadia now if you don't know who Nadia is I don't really blame you, but um, she is a Warzone streamer, kind of. Like, she took a break for a couple months and just did hot tub streams on Twitch because those were super popular. But uh, she used to stream Call of Duty. She used to be a big Warzone player and post a bunch of Warzone. And uh, she stopped for a while, and I think she's back to doing it now. I don't know. She went to OnlyFans and then tried to go back to Warzone, and then uh, she I don't know what she's doing. But basically, Nadia got canceled a while ago pretty much by the internet now i found out about nadia through like quote unquote exposing videos because everyone thought she was a war zone cheater and that she had you know aimbot and stuff on and like wall hacks and then when she actually got invited to cod next i think it was last year from w2 she was dog shit at least that's pretty much i think what was going on but uh, she may not have been at that event i just know at some point people were trying to expose her and i'm not here to call her a cheater because i don't know if she was or if she wasn't a cheater that's not my, what this video is about this video is about is that she put out this tweet today and uh, as you can tell from the thumbnail she said that she is completely blacklisted from playing call of duty tournaments only because she posted bikini pics and started an OnlyFans, so-and-so. And she's saying the standards are different than her because she's a woman and there are male pro players who have done similar images. So this post really kind of ticked me off because she is trying to hide under the guise of sexism. And as we all know, sexism is, sexism is a very real thing in the you know gaming industry. Like, if we're going to put all jokes aside, like... Activision literally got exposed for being one of the most sexist companies ever. There was a whole protest about it. There were donations that, you know, you guys remember on stream, I was donating to part, you know, the foundations that were going at Activision and those women's support groups and shit because they were doing such awful things to the women who worked for the companies and worked on Call of Duty. So there is real sexism in the scene. And She's hiding under the guise that she's treated differently because she's a woman in this space. Now, let me start this off by saying I do think female streamers get treated unfairly. 100%. I know Calais, I pretty much sure just got blacklisted as well. And she is like one of the best streamers. I don't know if you guys watch her stream. She streams Warzone. And she's a really fun streamer to watch. And there are women who get treated terribly in the gaming scene especially like let's be real we all know we're a pretty toxic bunch call of duty especially let's be real there is a lot of sexism in the uh gaming space can we all admit that before we continue and i make my next point yes okay so my following point she's not being treated differently in this situation because she's a woman i've I thoroughly believe that that has nothing to do with why she's blacklisted from the Call of Duty event. So let me go through the Nadia timeline, right? And I'm not going to go too deep into this recent thing that happened because there's already a bunch of videos on it. I suggest you go watch Sub to Optimus. He made a video about Nadia recently. I think he made a couple of videos, actually. And he was actually the one interacting with her. So, you know, I'm going off... But based on what he said and what he posted and the Twitter thread screenshots that he had. So if you want to deep dive into that, you can go to his channel because he did a much better video on it because he was actually part of it. But regardless, Nadia had come out and said that she's being treated differently. And she got into an argument with Optimus. And Optimus pointed out the fact that she had done a federal crime on her stream. She doxed someone that had donated to her. And they made a sexist comment. They did. They said they made like they donated her fifteen dollars and told her like to get back into the kitchen. I believe is what it was said. So they gave her fifteen bucks. They made a sexist comment. So she docks them now. Obviously, the appropriate response to that is not to commit a federal crime. I think we can all agree on that. So she committed this federal crime on stream, which yes, doxing is a federal crime. If we're being honest, technically it is. And she showed all the information to hit her entire stream. So I'm pretty sure she showed the guy's address to her entire stream. And that happens. She puts out an apology, says that she was wrong for it, right? All right, whatever. Nobody cares. Then her streams kind of start falling off, and then she starts an OnlyFans. Which, again, personally, I really don't care if someone does OnlyFans. I, like, I know a lot of people think it's a bad thing. If men are going to pay for it, go make that bank. I don't care, right? I'm not someone who's going to subscribe to that kind of stuff, but if you got an audience, then fuck it. Go for it, right? But she fell off, stopped streaming Call of Duty, didn't stream Call of Duty for months, and instead posted to OnlyFans and did hot tub streams on Twitch. So, 
Naturally, when Call of Duty Next came around for MW3, she wasn't invited, and she tried to say it was sexism again, even though she doesn't play the game or stream the game. You know, they invite streamers that play Call of Duty. Now, recently, she's been kind of getting back into it, but again, apparently she's blacklisted from these tournaments because that she's a woman. And again, I just think it's total BS. I think the reason why she's blacklisted from these streams is because she committed a federal offense live shared this man's address to people, which got her in a lot of hot wire. And then she admitted recently, a couple weeks ago, right before this all started, by the way, right before she was blacklisted, literally like two weeks ago maybe, she got into an argument with Optimus on Twitter, and Optimus pointed out that situation and how she apologized for it. And he said, you know, you've apologized for this before. Like, what do you mean, like, you've never done something like this? Because she was trying to, you know, pretend she had a squeaky clean record and stuff. And she said that she didn't think she was in the wrong for it. And he brought up the fact that she made an apology video for it. So what did she do in response? Well, she said the apology video was fake. She said that it was done by her PR team. Now, she has since deleted all these tweets, so I don't have them. I can't put them in this video. But like I said, if you go to Optimus's video, he has the tweets. He has the screenshots. So if you don't believe me, you can go to his channel. Because I know there's going to be some people that are probably going to say, you're just making it up to like make her sound worse. Like, why would she do that? Like, bro... The screenshots are out there. The tweets were out there. They were on the timeline. And then she deleted them once she started getting ratioed. But regardless, she admitted that that apology was fake. And she felt totally confident and totally happy that she just doxed someone and gave their information out on stream. And then surprise, surprise, she's blacklisted from comp competing into Call of Duty tournaments. Um... I don't know about you, but I think I see a direct correlation there. That'd be like, let's say I'm streaming, right? Let's say, let's say I am like sponsored. Let, let's say like my dream comes true, right? Let's say that Capcom invited me to play Resident Evil 4 early, right? Let's say I was like a Resident Evil partner. I'm getting flown out to events and shit. I'm playing these new Resident Evils early. It's awesome, right? Then I'm streaming. One of you guys makes a joke about me. I don't know. Like, let's say one of you, like, I don't know, says like I'm overweight or something, right? And then in response to that, after you donating me and saying that to me, I just go, okay, yeah, well, here's your address. I'm going to show it to the entire stream. Get doxxed. You lose. I think Capcom would probably stop working with me if I did that. I mean, that would only make sense. I mean, that's just, that's just my two cents. What do I know? But no, it's totally because she's a woman, even though they've had other women in all these Call of Duty events for a long time. Now, the situation with Calais, I, I don't know anything about that, Um I don't know why she got blacklisted. Apparently she did. I'm finding this out from someone else on Twitter, but I don't understand why she did because I'm someone who actually watches her streams and like I've never I don't know any controversies that she's in and she's a pretty fucking awesome Warzone player. Like she's really fun to watch, but um you know, aside from I don't know what that's going on. That could be, you know, an instance of sexism. I don't know. I, I'm not educated on that entire situation. But what I do know is that Nadia committed a federal crime live on stream, attacking one of her viewers, admitted to putting out a fake apology just so she could win the public back, stopped streaming Call of Duty, and instead just started streaming hot tub streams of her and her girls in the hot tub, and then posted videos on OnlyFans instead of posting Call of Duty. And now she's surprised that Call of Duty's not inviting her out to these events? Like, you do know you have to stream the game to actually go to the events. Like, that's how it works. I play, I, I guarantee I stream and post more Call of Duty content than 90% of the people that are going to these events. I'm not getting fucking invited. Obviously, I don't have the stature for that. But I'm just saying, like, there are people who are playing the game more than her, streaming more than her, that aren't getting invited. I mean, there are people that are actually like, I don't know, have like 50K, you know, 100K subs, or on Twitch have like 50K followers and are streaming Call of Duty every single day that are guys and have no infractions on them. They're not getting invited out to the events, you know? So I, now listen, if they just had kicked out like all the women out of all these events, right? Let's say Nadia kept streaming. Let's say she was a dedicated Call of Duty streamer and she was streaming Call of Duty every single day on Twitch and just continuing the grind, right? No infractions. The doxing thing never happened. And then they kicked her out. Then I think she has a really good point. However, she doesn't, in my opinion. 
I just turned on her stream right now as well, and she is doing a hot tub stream. So that is literally my point, is that she herself is not playing the game anymore. Oh, let me let me clarify. She's doing a hot tub stream, and then she's going to be streaming Warzone. So my bad. She's doing both in this stream. But you know what I'm saying. Like, obviously the hot tub streams and the OnlyFans are taking precedent over Call of Duty. Obviously, Call of Duty is not going to want to work with you when you're committing you know, federal crimes live on your stream, and then when you get kicked out for committing a federal crime, you want to blame it on sexism. Like, of course they're not going to want to work with you. Anyway, that's just my whole two cents about it. I don't know. I, I've never liked Nadia ever since she admitted to lying to her fans and deceiving her fans and faking apologies about committing federal crimes live on her stream. She lost all my respect there. And then just to cry sexism when there's actual sexism in the gaming scene and especially with female streamers. Like, that's a very valid topic to cover and that's something that should be talked about more in the streaming community and in YouTube as a whole, she's just not the one to cry for the sexism because I, she's there's no sexism being showed against Nadia. There's no evidence. There's nothing that suggests that. The All the evidence suggests that she committed a federal crime, put out a fake apology, and then admitted that she lied about the apology, and then stopped playing Call of Duty, started OnlyFans, and just started doing hot tub streams and not playing Call of Duty. So... Let me, I guess let me know down in the comment section below. Do you think she should not be invited to the events? Do you think it's because she's a woman, or do you think it's because she admitted to literally being a federal criminal? So I'm curious what you guys think. I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. If you enjoy it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me on the road to 1.2K subscribers. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Nadia situation down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? This is a healthy place to conversate. We're not going to hate for opposing views. I think that's lame to hate on someone for having a different viewpoint. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, and I really appreciate you guys checking this video out. I'll see you guys next time. This is Austin, and I am out. Peace, guys.